English Mirror, though. How does that play out? Not sure how English Mirror p plays out. You just go... Maybe this is the match where you do ab uh, Horseman at the moment. Wait, what about... Is this the match where you go a uh, Abbey of Kings? Maybe this is Abbey of Kings. And go like stable men arms or horsemen men arms. I feel like it shouldn't work, but we could try it and see how it feels in this matchup. I'll do three on wood. I had four last game, I think, last time I played English. I think three is fine. Uh, is the new attack speed not good? It's fine for like hunting and whatnot. It's horrible for... Because you can idle villages. And, like whenever you attack a villager that is mining gold, for example. Uh, that villager goes idle. He, get, he like stumbles a bit because he got hit. And then he goes idle. And when you have like the, such a short attack delay. Essentially what you're doing is you're idling his economy the whole time. Uh, it's quite horrible. Uh, and it's essentially like, it's pretty much bringing us back to animation cancelling. That's what it feels like anyway. Horseman, Longbowman. But then you cannot do Abbey of Kings. The whole point here is to try the Abbey. I still think it's gonna be shit. But I think this is uh, a matchup where it makes sense to try it maybe. To see if it could potentially be better than like the pure longbow thing. I don't think so. Should still be worse. But worth a try. <laughs> Play before the healing is crazy fast, as long as you micro well and pull units back to heal. Yeah, I mean, if he's trying to be aggressive as well, then I get to do play on my terms, right? On my side, where I can heal. And the guy who's playing longbows is most likely the guy who's going to be aggressive. So if he's going for the council hall... Like, in, in my head, this sounds like the... It might actually be more viable against other saves, but like... In my head, it sounds like that's how it might work. But I still think it's going to be bad. Shouldn't it be better that wills don't idle and attack? Yes, that would be way better. Apparently, it was like the villagers also got idle in the past when being when the, like they were building and being hit, but they changed that. So I imagine where they, they will change that with the uh, working or mining whatever villages villages as well. Yeah, I don't need three on gold, and they only need two on gold. It seems like. I'll keep that in mind for the future. Council Hall is just two archery ranges which can't even build other units. Yes, but it's also a building you don't have to take. You essentially get two archery ranges for free. In quotes. Right? You obviously have to pay for them, but... Uh, How do we do it? Do we just do it to the front? I think we do it to the front. Because English villagers, you cannot do the harass because they have... Uh, they have... <laughs> Heck. We're both doing Abbey, man. That ruins everything. I think we both were thinking like, let's see how Abby does. <laughs> That's why, uh, yeah. Um, do we even go horseman?
Wait, did I mess up here? Oh! This farm is messed up. Shit. That's yeah, fine. It's fine. This is bad, actually, because now I don't get to test if Abby could be better than the other thing, you know. Is it long bow? Like, is it long? Is, I think it's stable opening then, right? Should be. Has to be stable. Yes, it's stable and equal upgrades. Build an archer range and go archers. That feels a bit backwards. Could also just go like defensive and just boom, honestly. Don't even have to make military. I think could just fast castle this. I'll make a few horsemen though, because why not? We we'll potentially put some pressure on his gold. Yeah. Uh, that's a house. How does the new patch feel? Uh, playing it feels feels good to play it. Uh, I can't speak on the balance yet. Camel arches feel very strong in certain situations. Probably too strong in certain situations. But, um, and we have a lot of customizable hotkeys now, which is very good. Yeah, he's just fast castling. The question is now, can I actually do any damage with my three horsemen? That is the question. What if he's doing like a proxy barrack play? Yeah, I think it's still this fast castle. I don't know. I feel like I feel like something is missing in his base. Okay, it's the fast castle. Did I even go there? I mean, I'm not gonna be too much slower than him, and I also have some good solid eco upgrades, so I kind of don't mind this. Doing a stable now. What did I do in my second TC though? Probably here. Needs the gold. Yeah, a little bit vulnerable for the next few seconds here. But I should have probably stayed on this gold. Maybe he cannot produce knights. He's making one horseman. I'm not causing idle time, it's fine. Okay, that's the first knight. I think we should have time here. Get him! gonna hide there. I think we have time. I hope we have time. Uh, will it be late when you go to Tizen now? What's the village that you're gonna be? Like what? Three, four? I had map presence, I forced a lot of idle time. I hit... I hit uh, Castlet with a solid eco myself. 
I don't feel like he gained too much from this. And I also have equal upgrades. So is there actually a uh, sizable lead for him? I don't know. See where his next knight comes in. Did I miss that? Yeah. And his gold is quite exposed. He might not actually leave his gold because it's so exposed. In a tower there. Makes sense. I want to get that relic there. He knows it. Going back to heal. Okay, that's pretty fast. To be fair. Yeah, he's back to full health. Just like, oh, he took the relic in the middle. Damn it. Let's see if we can even greet and get that. Uh, I feel like Oh, he's, he's been really good at picking up the relics fast here. I don't even see any more. Guess we have to try and guard that one. I don't know if there was another one on the left that I just didn't... Oh, there was one. Oh, yes, there was. I think I'm just going to get ready to make a push, honestly. Actually, can you push, though? Considering that there's the, always the Abbey of Heals. I don't know, but we will try. Enjoy, Joshua. Thanks for dropping by. I think I want to add another stable. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sure, I sent the monk there. I, mean, I only have one relic, so I think I'll just make a, a play. So to say. So we'll add another stable. Why was there a monk there? Is there another relic somewhere that I don't know about? Not impossible. He's definitely on stone. Seems like. I guess we can never fight underneath the... He's ugly. He walled this off. Wait, that gold is out. So he must be on this gold, right? Or he has gone to the corner. I don't know. Oh, that's going on that gold. 
Interesting. Probably add another stable even. And just go for it. Oh. They're long distance mining. Losing a lot of else in the gold. That is naturally very good for me. Did he escape? Oh, he went there. Actually, I think if I just keep targeting gold villagers, he might eventually start struggling on gold. I am wasting a lot of nights in doing that. It might backfire as well. There's gonna be some there. Hmm. I didn't notice that. Ooh. It's gonna be a tough one to hold potentially. We are hitting him at the same time. Let's go back to the Abbey of Heels. Right there. On my terms. Les. I'm not sure if it's that good that I can out... Uh, oh, I have so many knights here. Oh, they would have made such a difference. Look, we both. Oh, he's dropping a castle there, even. That one is actually quite ugly for me. I guess I kind of have to go for it. I think I have a so solid villager lead right now. But he obviously has the relic still. Look, he may have had... So he might struggle on gold. I mean, he could have gone to the top corner. Not impossible. He does have the a lot of relics. They're probably still in a better spot. Getting the keep up was really good for him. Oh, he found those. Okay, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, now we're in trouble. This is something that uh, I really need to check the re replay. Just to compare village accounts and what I should have done. Did I put that on fire? hope I did. Gold is still sort of the main hindrance. I should have made more outposts on the map as well. Yeah, vision, exactly. How many nice does he have? He has 15. Good 
Yeah, actually having relic advantage in, in a matchup like this is also so helpful. Because you always have that consistent trickle of gold. We can still hope that we did enough eco damage to the point where we we still can compete with numbers, but I think not. I have better upgrades than him as we speak. Can't really ever engage there. You can also make traps from the thingy. Yeah, it's gonna be really hard to find a way to engage. I think this will be a big fight. He does have more knights than me here. He has better upgrades than me now as well. Could be wrong. I think he tried to hide one in here somewhere. Why not unit switch? Because uh, it takes too long to get to the sizable numbers of, of counters. But in this case, I think what I need more is actually make Siege get rid of his castle. Yeah, gold is going to be a big issue for me. I need to secure that. The thing is securing that, I need to leave a lot of army on that side. And that will also... That will also leave me exposed in my main eco. What is he going? Is there still a relic down there? It has to be, right? Ooh. I never checked how many relics he has either. But yeah, that would make sense that there's actually a relic down there. Yeah, I don't like he's getting full map control now. He has the vision to do it. What I need to do is get a keep up here. Gotta make a trebuchet. I think I'm just gonna commit, honestly.
No, he's there. No. Oh, do I want to fight there? I don't think so. Can I escape? I don't think so either. <laughs> He's over 40 units there. Oh, no Population is still healthy though. You just gonna dive on the castle? 50 knights, I have 45. With the castle and the attack upgrade, I should be able to engage here. I can't have the volume too high for my own sake. Yeah, I still wonder about the village account. It's definitely something I would have to check, look into and compare to see what, or like economies rather, to see how it actually was playing out. I'm also doing boiling oil, which is super expensive now. I think I don't have a choice. Need to grab that relic as well. I think Imperial Age might be next. But also, if I stop making, I think I might just die. Okay, we're actually gonna get the keep, so we might. Then he probably mined that gold out. Yeah, I think we need to stop producing and go in. Gold is gone. That was a good move, man. I could do a YOLO here and just try to dive on his base. And, like, try to take his eco. But that doesn't feel... Doesn't feel right. Imagine he should be on the way to imp as well. Oh, I'm out of wood actually, but I, I'm actually out of gold, wood, uh, gold as well. Uh, what is my plan now? Considering the limited amount of gold, I think I just buy elite lancer, and then we kind of have to just. Uh, Try to make a tech switch, maybe? Something. I think I try to... Maybe I can even commit on the right side here. Try to take all of that. I think... Ah, uh, he walled the whole thing off. Yeah, he's definitely he's playing 100% the gold game. We're left without a choice. But 
So we will have elite pa uh, knights, but that's it. Yeah, it's just walling off the whole map, so I can't really get any damage done, I think. I don't think I can enter his base anywhere. I think that's a, a play we can try to make. Okay, same as well. I'm trying to attack switch here into pikes. And we want to fight before. He doesn't have boiling oil, I think. And I want to fight before he gets upgrades. I think it's still not enough. He just has way more numbers than us. I think so. And he has gold to make any tech switch. I'm not sure. I mean, the fact that he managed to take this gold from me was very nicely done by him. Besides that, maybe it was a bit unfortunate with gold spawn. This one is quite far. But he's also doing a very good job at making sure I cannot get access to them. Um, why are they guys? Why are you guys there? I don't have a chi choice to try to. Make one text switch quickly. But. I will be so vulnerable to raids. Hmm. And again, I have no walls, no sections to secure anything. Oh, and oh, I forgot about this one. Ooh. Not sure if they will change anything at this point. I think it's too late. But you're right, I could have gotten a lot of gold from there, but he just needs any type of tech switch away from um, Paladin. And I, I cannot tech switch myself. That's a big oof. I don't think it changes anything in this game though, to be fair. Can we actually save that? Hey, tell they stop chasing them. Yeah, I need to improve a lot on that. Just the whole point point of um, getting map control or like um, vision on the map. That was the biggest thing to ensure that I can actually um, control the game better. And also walling a little bit. You got this. At this point, I think the ship has sailed. Our population is still healthy, but. Yeah, still healthy population, but uh, we have no control of the game. Oh, the monk. I'm trying to switch into, I'll uh, just play a trash composition while maybe building up gold for something like... Like siege by itself, kind of. Uh, 
we are losing a sizable amount of villagers though. It's probably a section we need to get walled. Easy. Don't think I can afford spending stone on that. Could have maybe been decent though. I can repair that one. And that's in a good location. Oh. I wonder if he saw my army there. Bad timing. <laughs> well, maybe actually it's not too bad. Oh, I don't know wood. To repair, which means I also don't know wood to make any of the units I'm actually b making. If he never attack switches, maybe we have a chance. Never tech switches. Tell. Don't think so. He probably always saw that. Population is dropping by the minute. We should make crossbows. Thing is, he's very likely floating a lot of resources. That's quite nice. Might actually be able to take that down. Yeah, do I finally have time to try and make my own siege? Maybe. 
Now we go trebuchet or I guess we go bombard. I just bought. Are we actually losing the building to... I can't tell, but I think the tower is actually destroying it right now. How's the score between two today? I don't know. I think this is a third or fourth game. Probably as always close. So since we only have 73 villagers, that also means we probably have a lot of uh, army. Since we're still alive so to say so in a straight up fight i could potentially win potentially we're actually maxed out I uh, need a university. We might just go for Sacred Sight win as well. Yes, the uh, Berkshire Palace there. Nine minutes. Not sure what the odds are. We can take anything back in that time. Ah, I'm gonna get memed on. Rebal the Quinn. Let's see how they do. I wanna see it myself. Yeah, what engagements like this for Baldequin are really good. What's a nice game? I'll have to check the recorded game to see where uh <coughs> at what stage I should have done something else maybe it was just about the relics securing the relics a bit more a Co couple more outposts around in the forest get vision so i can dictate the pace of the game a little bit more and probably wall in the sides it also goes on to stone really early to get the um, yeah, we're, we're close in population the whole time actually i had village account we did pull ahead in village account after that raid so we were actually in a decent decent ish spot but the fact that we're behind the relics and the gold control was always the main issue. Compared to gold income, he has almost double our gold. Uh, yeah, you can continue to look at the at the game. I want to check quickly. But I'm also curious about this game if um, Abu Kings actually is a viable option in English Mirror. The knights in your corner, you were ahead. Maybe we'll see. We got some really solid uh, nerfs, uh, raids. Look at the gold situation. We have four small golds. Oh, that doesn't seem fair. We have four small golds. He manages to take one of them even. He has one, two, three small. And then he has big ones. I mean, this one is kind of close to him. I guess he has four small ones, one big one, and this one is hard to contest. It's quite far away. And then on top of that, when he manages to take this gold as well, then that's a really good... It's a good move by him. Yeah, I was definitely had a village account. Let me see a relic spawn here. This one in the corner is definitely one I needed to scout. Otherwise, the relic spawn was quite fair. They were kind of one for each other, and then three across the middle. Maybe even favorable for me. He was able to grab that one. But the gold spawn was a bit iffy. His early keep one in the game. Yeah, the fact that he took that gold from me, right? That was a really nice move. <coughs> yeah, I will go through that recorded game at a, at a later point. Just to, like, see how that developed. Because our raids were really solid, but I may have thrown away an army lead as well with the raids. 